So I can see we can start by splitting this guy up here for here. Obviously the goal is to get as many quads as possible. And another uh, another goal would be to make sure your geometry is relaxed as possible. Now, what do I mean by what do I mean by relaxed? Well, <clears throat> if you look here, this is completely relaxed. All of your edges on these polygons are pretty much equidistant. This one, however, is not very relaxed. It, there's stress in it, and when it's stressed, and you subdivide the subdivided version greatly differs from the original cage. And why is this important? Well, if it's a static object, if you were, say, modeling a statue, it's not so important, but if you want to model for animation, something that will deform, then this becomes more of an important factor, because it's starting off with tension. You would want this to be as relaxed as possible because you want your models in their neutral pose to be as neutral as possible so they can then leave their neutral pose and go from one extreme to the other and you'll know your 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 starting off point is a relaxed neutral pose and of course when I say pose in this respect I'm talking about the actual geometry so let's find a way to relax this up So I guess uh, you could say that this tutorial is is partially working with their polygon flows and, and also partially modeling for the purpose of animation, which I always do because I'm always thinking in terms of animation. Now I just use a third-party plugin here, but <laughs> I'll save that one for another video. So now you can see this one's much more relaxed. Now we got this one to deal with. And it doesn't have to be completely perfect. It's to be understood that when you are dealing with, you know, like one shape going into another shape and blending them, you're going to have some tension going on. But relaxing as much as possible is ideal. Now let's see what I'm going to do here. I could split that up. Now we got four points all around. Obviously, the closer this point gets to this, it's going to make a tighter lip all around this joined place and I, I don't want to get too close because that would deviate from the intended blended shape. I think it's looking much better. Okay, I think that's good. Let's turn on the sub D's and see what happens. Okay, now, again, you are going to get that artifacting somewhere. Anywhere you got those five pointers coming in, it's you're going to get the artifacts. But 
A, it's OpenGL only. This will not render like that. It will render quite clean. And B, because it's not happening at the lip, at, at this, the seam where these two shapes are joining, uh, it's avoiding any possible problems, or at least greatly reducing them. And so you, you basically push off these potential problems areas off into a smoother area. So there you go. Um, there is another area here that can definitely use improvement. I just kind of connected this, this end willy-nilly. So I'm going to pause the video here and clean this up, and I'll see you back when it's finished. Okay, you can see I have a an edge loop that goes all the way around the edge, basically continuing this this flow here. So I want to go to smooth shade mode, nice and clean all the way around. So now we have an object that's much more clean and ready for animation. I'll see you next time.